Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, you will be learning about how to merge cells in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with how to merge cells in Excel. So let's get started and let's begin with our practical mode. So we are in practical mode and we have started our Microsoft Excel and you can see on my screen we have the sales data of one single employee in the month of January. Okay, so this is the sales data of John in January sales. Now let us imagine that we have the same person's or same John's data of sales of all the three months. Okay, so here we have the sales data of John for January, February and March. And you wanted to club all these three months and write it down as quarter one, right? So let us try doing it. Now you can see that uh, only January is replaced as quarter one and February and March are still uh, remaining the same. So let us try to delete them. So we have deleted them and I think now it looks like uh, this is the sales data of one single quarter that is quarter one. But again, quarter one is under column B and anyone who looks at it feels like this data is of January, February and March and all the quarter one details are only present in B column. But C and D are completely, you know, different from this one, right? So you don't want that kind of an impression on your, uh, you know, the one who are presenting to you. So in those situations, you want to merge all these three columns and make sure that the quarter one is present somewhere in between the cells so that all the data looks relevant and uh, it, it defines that these data elements belong to quarter one, right? So there is an option in Excel to do that. So select all the cells that you want to merge and go into home button and in home button get into the alignment group and select merge and center so you can do it directly also you have a couple of more options that is merge and center merge across merge cells and unmerge so we'll go through it one by one so first we'll go through merge and center so there you go the cells got merged and it has been aligned into center now again, if your manager or anyone superior to you wants this to be, you know, independent, like they want it to be in terms of January, February and March so that they can have access to it in month wise. So you want to unmerge it back, right? How to do that now? So the same menu and select unmerge and there you go. You have your data back in the original form again. All you have to do is, you know, rename a few cells. There you go and you have it back right so in a few situations okay you can also add uh, the borders so that it looks more relevant now um, you know now let's try to merge this again and merge in center yeah now again uh, let us imagine that you are going through an appraisal cycle and you also wanted to add some comments about the sales happening in your company uh, regarding uh, all the employees right so also we have that here now let me expand a little bit yeah there you go. so again let's merge and center now uh you wanted to you know uh, you wanted to take a review of your level one level two and level three managers so you have all the three uh, rows here but you can see the cells are not merged and uh, you wanted to merge every single row so merging and centering everything row wise would be a little time consuming i mean three columns is okay but what if you had like uh, you had to take a review from a couple of more managers like five to ten right it, uh, or imagine a, you wanted to write some random comments apart from review you wanted to write some random comments based on month wise uh, sales or something like that so it would be time consuming right so apart from that you have another option where you you know select all the cells and come over here and select the option of merge across 
and all the cells will be merged all together at once and you will be having those individual rows where you can write down your reviews like review one and so on review two right so this is how the option of merge across works and we already have been through the merge and center and merge is completely similar to merge and center so this is how merge and center merge cells and uh, merge across and unmerge cells in excel works so with this we have come to an end of this tutorial on how to merge cells in excel if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources that we have used in this session then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you stay safe and uh, keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.